Alright everyone, welcome! I'm gonna do my fake actor Hollywood YouTube voice now. Oh, that was only for those watching on Twitch. Hello YouTube, hope you're doing well. I hope you love my haircut today. It's very Justin Bieber. I, I, I'm gonna come out now, I'm a huge Justin Bieber fan. He's too sexy, sexy, sexy. Okay, worst intro ever. Uh, so today we're doing wall bounce into cool shit with, with Horan. Um, F first thing I want to tell you, um, uh, Mohawk, Mohawk Snow, thank you so much for the sub, really appreciate it, super generous, really helped my, helped my stream, thank you so much, super sellout mode, uh, thanks so much man. Uh, so if you're in rage and you get a wall splat, you can do back, la oh, turn off that fucking back roll, stop tech rolling, you piece of shit. He's still tech rolling! Ah, oh, he died. He died of elderliness. Is that a thing? Um, so if you get um, if you get a wall splat, you can do backlash, and if you, if you have rage, you can do backlash into um, his rage drive one. What? It didn't connect. Okay, I, I'm doing it too quickly. I'm a bit too fast. That's my problem. My, it's my execution. I'm very well known for it. <laughs> just kidding. Nah. Uh, as you can see, 82 damage. You just gotta make sure the first kick of a rage dive connects when Heihachi is very low on the wall. Like so. So this is a very, very strong wall game Horang has access to once he is in rage. I tried to just frame Skyrocket, it did not connect for some reason, it's supposed to work. So, uh, I just wanted to show that combo to those of you who did not watch my breakdown of Horang in Season 2, I showed it in that video as well. Uh, we're gonna take a look at his wall bounce. And the uh, wall bounce he does from CD3, which, which puts him in left flamingo stance, which is a pretty decent wall bounce move. It's got huge fucking range, mate. So, uh, and he gets enormous damage immediately because we can do extremely easily from any range left flamingo stance, forward 4 free. Big damage, and then we can just mash out his standard. Uh, Wall combos, 76 damage, that's huge for wall bounce, uh, and this works at any range, it's super consistent, super easy to do, uh, but Horang has always been good with the damage, even if it was nerfed a tad, you know, for, for season 2, uh, but that's big damage. If we're standing just a f two steps away, you can, do, you can just mash 4, 3, 4, 4. For 75, um, which I I think is a pretty cool combo, but I guess it does less than just doing this. Exactly, that does one more. But this is ju I'm just mashing the buttons. It's so ridiculously easy to do, but it will only work from uh, from two feet away. So I guess this is. Just a more stable combo overall, I would say. Um, IQ equals 10. Uh, Aimser, thank you so much. Horang player IQ 10. I'm so tired of this prejudice against Horang players. Everyone's saying they are retards. Oh, sorry, it's, that's not politically correct. Everyone's saying they are mongoloids. Why would you say that? It's so fucking evil, honestly. Horang players work really hard as well, okay? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but, but, but thank you so... No, but I mean, okay, yeah, Horang players are not... Mongoloids. Yeah. <laughs> Statement of the year. Um, but, uh... Thank you so much, Aimser, for the donation. I really appreciate it. 
But yeah, Horan gets a bad rap because in lower ranks you can get away with a lot of mashing. But as soon as you go to higher ranks, uh, it becomes very hard to play Horan due to his... Uh, it's just very complicated, you know. Uh, you have to know about a huge move list. Uh, he... Mm -hmm. Now Horing is pretty damn good. But high high execution. High execution. And complicated. Uh, uh, okay. So uh, you gotta press them buttons and do attacks, and we all know that's hard. So if we're standing max range when we do the wall bounce, we can mash four. Four, 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 and get uh, a good combo. Four, four. Oh shit! I was too early. You gotta wait out the flamingo. He drops it. And you can get a good combo. Um. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Four, 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 four. That's what I wanted. Also 75 damage. Um, uh, I do... Oh, right. God damn it. I do want to show the... Uh, the max damage. Uh, for those of you who are Horang enthusiasts and want to really challenge yourself and, and uh, yourselves and get the max damage with some timing, you know, and some, uh, you know, good inputs, you can do his unblockable here for great damage. Uh, I think it does 89 without rage. Uh, the way you do that is you do the wall bounce. Then you have to do a motion switch. And this is done by pressing 3-4. Uh, it just goes from left flamingo stance to right flamingo stance indefinitely. You can just do this how many times you want. So you'll be doing this here. CD3, motion switch, 2 jab. And then forward 3 and into unlockable. Yes, as you can see, if you time it correctly, the last hit will hit 60% low wall hit on the head for 48 damage. This does a lot of damage. Uh, so you might want to try and practice that a bit. But this this, this, this is for really the Horang enthusiast. Um, I also wanted to show a really cool combo I found. Uh, CD3... Oh, Jesus. But this is only for really cool guys. Oh, God. I missed it. What? Oh, no. Right. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Uh. This is how I roll. Oh yeah, main man. Um, so um, yeah, Horang does really well with the wall bounce. I mean, just from point blank being able to get as much damage as he gets is uh, is great. So just remember, uh, try and practice that unblockable because it's enormous damage. Um, and Horang is pretty damn cool in Season 2 overall, I would say. Uh, so yeah, that's it for Horang.